Hello producers, it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make smooth transitions from part to part in your tracks. If you're ready, let's get into the tutorial. I have an old track in here. It's still work in progress, but I choose this track because it can be a real good example for this topic. So the overall idea is something like this. Now I will show you how to fill that transitions like a pro. First of all, in, in this four empty section at the post drop, we should use a downlifter. Okay, let's use this one. Yeah, it really helped to the transition, but it's not enough. I'm adding a sweep down, the sound like this. And actually, I will make it unique and reverse. So we can use it one more time in this section with itself. So it will sound like this. You can always use this trick to get a smooth transition. You can do the same thing in your crashes too. Let me show you. Let's put this crash to here. And I will make it unique. Make it reverse. Reversed one could be slightly less volume. And let's hear them. To not get this click sound, you can choose generic. It will make the sample fade out smoothly. Okay, now let's listen what we have. Sorry, I should move them to here. Okay, for the part when the brake leads coming in. We should make a reverse note. I will show you how. So this is the brake lead. So my first note is F sharp. I will grab this one. Go somewhere empty. So let's make it unique. And get rid of the chords. I will choose four bars, go to my main mixer channel. I will add a reverb. All the way wet, no dry, no early reflection, nothing. I will make the decay like 7-8 seconds. Size full. After that, I'm adding an Edison. Click record. 
play. Then just move this little guy over here. So you have some sample like this. And you can use the sample on your transitions. Let's move this guy to bottom. Oh, after you finish, just disable these two plugins. You can normalize it, reverse it, give it generic. And after that, you can place this sample to the transition point. I believe it was here. Yes, this should work. So give it a volume automation. It really fit to the mix. Okay, let's continue. What should we add? So we can add a downlifter in this part. We can do the same, make it unique and reverse it. So we can place it like this too. After that, we can use some uplifter like this. Just to give some texture to your transitions. Reverse vocal sounds fit really well to the transitions, you can use them as well. You can use them like this. Maybe we can layer two reverse vocal sounds to make them even more unique. After you put the transitions, just send them to same mixer channel and give some reverb. That's why their tail will not cut, so it will be more smooth. So we can add some reverb clap sample from Kashmir to after, after the reverse vocals. And maybe we can use a riser in here. We want to make the audience prepared for the big scenes coming in. And maybe we can use two kind of different risers. So the sample selection is really important. You gotta stick your samples. For example, if you use a crash in this part, you should use the same crash in the next part. You cannot have 
different downers, different crashes, different uplifters in your track. So we can add this guys like this too. And I think pretty much we are done. Now we can take a listen what do we have. Yeah, this is how we make smooth transitions in your tracks, in your breakdowns. I hope you can apply this to your own productions too. Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next video, bye bye.